Exodus chapter twenty one, the law concerning slaves. Now these are the ordinances which you shall set before them. When you buy a Hebrew slave, he shall serve six years, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he comes in single, he shall go out single. If he comes in married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master gives him a wife and she bears him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out alone. But if the slave plainly says, "I love my master, my wife, and my children," I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him to God, and he shall bring him to the door or the doorpost, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him for life. When a man sells his daughter as a slave, she shall not go out as the male slaves do. If she does not please her master, who has designated her for himself then he shall let her be redeemed he shall have no right to sell her to a foreign people since he has dealt faithlessly with her if he designates her for his son he shall deal with her as with a daughter if he takes another wife to himself he shall not diminish her food her clothing or her marital rights and if he does not do these three things for her she shall go out for nothing without payment of money the law concerning violence whoever strikes a man so that he dies shall be put to death but if he did not lie in wait for him but god let him fall into his hand then i will appoint for you a place to which he may flee but if a man willfully attacks another to kill him treacherously you shall take him from my altar that he may die whoever strikes his father or his mother shall be put to death whoever steals a man whether he sells him or is found in possession of him shall be put to death whoever curses his father or his mother shall be put to death when men quarrel and one strikes the other with a stone or with his fist and the man does not die but keeps his bed then if the man rises again and walks abroad with his staff he that struck him shall be clear only he shall pay for the loss of his time and shall have him thoroughly healed when a man strikes his slave male or female with a rod and the slave dies under his hand he shall be punished but if the slave survives a day or two he is not to be punished for the slave is his money when men strive together and hurt a woman with child so that there is a miscarriage and yet no harm follows the one who hurt her shall be fined according as the woman's husband shall lay upon him and he shall pay as the judges determine if any harm follows then you shall give life for life eye for eye tooth for tooth hand for hand foot for foot burn for burn wound for wound stripe for stripe when a man strikes the eye of his slave male or female and destroys it he shall let the slave go free for the eye's sake If he knocks out the tooth of his slave male or female he shall let the slave go free for the tooth's sake laws concerning property when an ox causes a man or a woman to death 
the ox shall be stoned and its flesh shall not be eaten but the owner of the ox shall be clear but if the ox has been accustomed to gods in the past and its owner has been warned but has not kept it in and it kills a man or a woman the ox shall be stoned and its owner shall be put to death if a ransom is laid on him then he shall give for the redemption of his life whatever is laid upon him if it gores a man's son or daughter he shall be dealt with according to the same rule if the ox gores a slave male or female the owner shall give to their master 30 shekels of silver and the ox shall be stoned when a man leaves a pit open or when a man digs a pit and does not cover it and an ox or an ass falls into it the owner of the pit shall make it good he shall give money to its owner and the dead beast shall be his when one man's ox hurts another's so that it dies then they shall sell the live ox and divide the price of it and the dead beast also they shall divide or if it is known that the ox has been accustomed to gor in the past and its owner has not kept it in he shall pay ox for ox and the dead beast shall be his Exodus chapter 22 laws of restitution if a man steals an ox or a sheep and kills it or sells it he shall pay five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep if a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies there shall be no blood guilt for him but if the sun has risen upon him there shall be blood guilt for him he shall make restitution if he has nothing then he shall be sold for the theft if the stolen beast is found alive in his possession whether it is an ox or an ass or a sheep he shall pay double when a man causes a field or vineyard to be grazed over or lets his beast loose and it feeds in another man's field he shall make restitution from the best in his own field and in his own vineyard when fire breaks out and catches in thorns so that the stacked grain or the standing grain or the field is consumed he that kindled the fire shall make full restitution If a man delivers to his neighbor money or goods to keep and it is stolen out of the man's house then if the thief is found he shall pay double if the thief is not found the owner of the house shall come near to god to show whether or not he has put his hand to his neighbor's goods for every breach of trust whether it is for ox for ass for sheep for clothing or for any kind of lost thing of which one says this is it the case of both parties shall come before god he whom god shall condemn shall pay double to his neighbor if a man delivers to his neighbor an ass or an ox or a sheep or any beast to keep and it dies or is hurt or is driven away without any one seeing it an oath by the lord shall be between them both to see whether he has not put his hand to his neighbor's property and the owner shall accept the oath and he shall not make restitution but if it is stolen from him he shall make restitution to its owner If it is torn by beasts let him bring it as evidence he shall not make restitution for what has been torn 
If a man borrows anything of his neighbor and it is hurt or dies, the owner not being with it, he shall make full restitution. If the owner was with it, he shall not make restitution. If it was hired, it came for its hire. Social and Religious Laws If a man seduces a virgin who is not betrothed, and lies with her he shall give the marriage present for her and make her his wife if her father utterly refuses to give her to him he shall pay money equivalent to the marriage present for virgins you shall not permit a sorceress to live whoever lies with a beast shall be put to death whoever sacrifices to any god Save to the Lord only, shall be utterly destroyed. You shall not wrong a stranger or oppress him, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall not afflict any widow or orphan. If you do afflict them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry, and my wrath will burn, and I will kill you with the sword. and your wives shall become widows and your children fatherless if you lend money to any of my people with you who is poor you shall not be to him as a creditor and you shall not exact interest from him if ever you take your neighbor's garment in pledge you shall restore it to him before the sun goes down for that is his only covering it is his mantle for his body in what else shall he sleep and if he cries to me i will hear for i am compassionate you shall not revile god nor curse a ruler of your people you shall not delay to offer from the fullness of your harvest and from the outflow of your presses The first born of your sons you shall give to me. You shall do likewise with your oxen and with your sheep. 7 days it shall be with its dam. On the 8th day you shall give it to me. You shall be men consecrated to me. Therefore you shall not eat any flesh that is torn by beasts in the field. You shall cast it to the dogs. Exodus chapter 23 Justice for all You shall not utter a false report you shall not join hands with a wicked man to be a malicious witness you shall not follow a multitude to do evil nor shall you bear witness in a suit turning aside after a multitude so as to pervert justice nor shall you be partial to a poor man in his suit if you meet your enemy's ox or his ass going astray you shall bring it back to him if you see the ass of one who hates you lying under its burden you shall refrain from leaving him with it you shall help him to lift it up You shall not pervert the justice due to your poor in his suit. Keep far from a false charge and do not slay the innocent and righteous, for I will not acquit the wicked. And you shall take no bribe, for a bribe blinds the official and subverts the cause of those who are in the right. You shall not oppress a stranger You know the heart of a stranger for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Sabbatical year and Sabbath. For 6 years you shall sow your land and gather in its yield. But the 7th year you shall let it rest and lie fallow. The poor of your people may eat and what they leave the wild beasts may eat. You shall do likewise with your vineyard and with your olive orchard. 6 days you shall do your work, 
but on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your ass may have rest, and the son of your bondmaid and the alien may be refreshed. Take heed to all that I have said to you, and make no mention of the names of other gods, nor let such be heard out of your mouth. The Annual Festivals Three times in the year you shall keep a feast to me. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. As I commanded you, you shall eat unleavened bread for seven days at the appointed time in the month of Abib, for in it you came out of Egypt. None shall appear before me empty-handed. You shall keep the feast of harvest of the first fruits of your labor, of what you sow in the field. You shall keep the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when you gather in from the field the fruit of your labor. Three times in the year shall all your males appear before the Lord God. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, or let the fat of my feast remain until the morning. The first of the first fruits of your ground you shall bring into the house of the Lord your God. You shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk. The Conquest of Canaan Promised Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Give heed to him and hearken to his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if you hearken attentively to his voice and do all that I say, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. When my angel goes before you and brings you into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I blot them out, you shall not bow down to their gods nor serve them nor do according to their works, but you shall utterly overthrow them and break their pillars in pieces. You shall serve the Lord your God, and I will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. None shall cast her young or be barren in your land will fulfill the number of your days. I will send my terror before you, and will throw into confusion all the people against whom you shall come, and I will make all your enemies turn their backs to you, and I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out Hivite, Canaanite, and Hittite from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the wild beasts multiply against you. Little by little I will drive them out from before you, until you are increased and possess the land. And I will set your bounds from the Red Sea to the Sea of the Philistines, and from the wilderness to the Euphrates, for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them or with their gods. They shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you.